delivers a hat trick. Five to three, the Oilers take down the Vancouver Canucks. Your initial thoughts? Okay, so, I mean, tonight was a mess. In any way you want to put it, me getting in the gates was a mess, tickets were a mess, and then and then everything else. The start of the game was a mess. Game was yeah. a mess. Down 2 nothing. It was a mess all the way around. And you get out of that mess, that beautiful, crazy mess, perhaps one of the most memorable season openers I've been a part of, whether watching, broadcasting on YouTube, or in person, only in my life, to be honest with you. That was everything and more that you could ever script it to be. Well, the crowd was chanting MVP already for Connor McDavid, and he definitely was the MVP tonight. A hat trick. Nice handoff by Evander Kane at the end to give Connor the hat trick. Kane could have easily put that in. Puts it back. Yeah, Connor puts it in. So, yeah, I mean, Connor McDavid, what more can you say? The guy just delivers year after year, game after game. Leon Drysaddle, he was the second star tonight. Goal and a couple assists. And Jack Campbell, oh, like, baby. like we said in the second intermission, shaky start to the game, but Jack Campbell just turned it on, made game-breaking save after game-breaking save, and he put the Oilers in a position to come back and win this hockey game. And Let, we did. Yeah. Let's remind everyone, Oilers were down 3-1 to one in this hockey game. 5-3 to three victory tonight. So this was the giveaway by the, yeah, at the game tonight, by the way. Yeah, the kids are gonna love these yeah. when everybody goes home and hands them to them tomorrow morning. Um, Very myself, uh, nice. Yeah, I think I, I'll definitely be keeping good. this one. Worked good for the pregame intro and stuff. It did, yeah, but yeah. I gotta say because you didn't mention it, I get to mention this. Captain Connor McDavid, 700 career NHL points. I think we all theorized that it was more than likely to happen during the home opener. He delivers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess you can't see it's the best game Connor's ever no, played, but no. it's <laughs> like when you guy have a guy with that much talent. But oh my god, what a performance tonight! Like easily the first star took oh, it over. Absolutely, that second goal. You know, he walks out of the corner after the pass from Hyman. Jams at it. I mean, the Oilers all night were fighting the puck bounce, fighting the puck bounce, and they just find it in front of the net. Connor McDavid on the second chance opportunity, buries it, and that was it. It busted the game wide open at that point, and 5-3 it was with the empty netter, and for the Oilers, uh, kind of shades of how it normally goes, but at the same yeah. rate. Slow start. I think Vancouver scored on their second and third shots of the game, I want to say, was, at least on the second. Yeah, and so, like I said, shaky start for Jack Campbell, but he definitely rebounded some amazing saves. Canucks definitely had the opportunity oh. to go further up in this hockey game, and Soup came up huge for the Oilers. Tonight. And I mean, here's the thing. If this is a preview of the goaltending we're going to get this season, sign me up. You have three goals against on 35-plus shots in the night. And guess what, with this Oilers team, friends, I don't want to ruin it for you, but that's good enough to win a lot of hockey games. And that's exactly what we did tonight. Well, that's what I've been saying in a lot of my videos. If the Oilers can just keep the opposing team to three goals or less, the Oilers are going to win the vast majority of the hockey games. Oh. They have enough offense that they can bury four or five goals a night. Obviously, they're not going to do that every game. But if Campbell and Skinner can provide that kind of goaltending, the Oilers are going to slide into the playoffs and we'll see what kind of damage they can do come playoff time. And I mean, you start holding with this Oilers team we saw in the 2022 playoffs, you start holding teams to under three goals in the playoffs. Friends, we're talking, I don't want to talk what we're talking, but we're talking a different result more than likely. Yeah. Not necessarily the end result, but along the road next well, uh, spring. Baby steps, we got to yep. get to that final four. I imagine if we get to that final four, it'll be Colorado again. Well, hopefully but not Calgary, right? Hopefully Avoid well. the wild card situations for yeah. both of us. Yeah. Let's run it back in the second round, and I'll take Colorado one more time in that third round. That'd be a sweetheart deal. Yeah, another crack at it. Healthy dry sidle, healthy nurse, Jack Campbell, or Stuart Skinner running the pipes. We might see a different outcome there. I'm hoping, but tonight, right, it all starts off with a victory. We're going to celebrate the Oilers doing their thing, winning at home, and getting the job done. So that's what matters at the end of tonight, is the Oilers win, and we take it home. 
and everybody goes home happy. We do. So my arm's getting tired. So. <laughs> and we're up to 42 people, so I think before this gets any crazier, yeah. we better get out of here and let your arm rest off. Okay. Thanks, guys. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. We'll see you uh, soon. Have a good night. Hold on. We're not out of here.